I just wanted to say to my friend Julie, Julianne, how much uh, I will always appreciate you being at the launch of my first book, and that that was the beginning in some ways of our friendship um, in a deeper way. And uh, I just never forgot those conversations initially and early on and how much that meant to me. And it seems amazing that this is your first book because the kind of wisdom that proceeds and the kind of the body of work, as we all in the room know, um, it's amazing that this is your first book. So um, we're here to celebrate you. I, uh, I dressed up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope we're having a party. <laughs>
always need to see, we did need to see everything every day. Day 76. Another angle would have you believing that this is how it went down, this and specifically this, and they will be right. This is how it went down. There were days upon days, days upon days, days upon days that never seemed to end. And so who's to say the first of a hundred days began? Day 67. Some days I want to stare at the sky. Perhaps I can learn something. Some days I think about how important the sky has become. I think about it and in so doing I make it exist. I make the sky an endless and expansive backdrop of blue. If there was a sky, how could it witness what it did and still maintain the same calm hue? Day 64. There have been three so far. Three men who walk with your gait, who turn head first the way you used to, walk like you did, sauntering like a cat, laugh with your laugh, flick the wrist to make a point the way you used to. Three men who wore your face and for a moment lighted up mine. And then you were gone again and they were just ordinary men doing ordinary things, imposters reminding me that you used to be by me. Day 57. We were halfway to dead when we were reminded that we were halfway to dead and we were hovering, suspecting, tripping, or tiptoeing over the terrain, lest any semblance of confidence betrayed us again. Ghosts flitted about, attentive to our progress. Chrissy knew, Chrissy could see, having never left ourselves, we were never going to arrive. Day 45. We watched as faith crumbled off the walls in dull clamps. We watched as prayers dissipated into clouds and then watched them return as drizzle to mock us. Sometimes it rained. Sometimes it rained hard. Sometimes it rained as if the earth was sobbing, but it was never so. The earth remains dispassionate. Eventually, our superstitions burst like bubbles or floated away like notes in the light, and there was nothing left to hold on to, not even time which stretched and then crunched itself willfully. Cats and dogs roamed about, feral and hungry. People crouched in the shadows, not all feral, not all hungry. At half past all time, even decay stopped for a moment. Hours remains an Eden. Not even a spate of killing can change that. Day two. This would not be a litany of remembrances. We know who the guilty are, and the guilty know themselves. This is a charge against the witnesses, against those who cannot speak, against those who speak incompletely, and those who speak incoherently, against nature who saw everything and did nothing, against the bodies that dissolved and the bodies that refused to dissolve. This is a charge against pain, against those who insisted on writing the landscape with bones, against heartbreak, against laughter, against the dead. What now? Day 12. Now we must create the, our own world, use the right words for the world we want to live in, like God. Let there be light, and there was light. Let us forgive our enemies. Let us be good examples for the next generation. Let us belong to one another. Let us be friends. Day 20. This has been called a harvest of death, but it was more like a nest net that was cast, a fisher net, a fisher net cast by a man, a fisher of man, Christ. Was that you? And the last one I'll read comes from a prayer. Glory be to the Father to whom all this is his will. Glory be to the Son who claims to have died for the sins of all men. Glory be to the Holy Spirit that guides the flames of all the believers as if it, as it was in the beginning, as it was in the beginning, as it always been. As long as we need to hark back to a beginning that only exists in the memory of the elusive trinity, 
who can only be accessed through faith, nothing will ever change. Nothing will ever change except by faith. So nothing will ever change. Thank you so much for coming.